Welcome to the Sports Card Hustle. Hey everybody, this is Michael coming to you with another episode on the Sports Card Hustle channel where I'm going to talk to everybody today about what legends sports cards am I buying. That's right, what legends sports cards am I buying. Before we get on into this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below because it really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm and lets other sports card collectors, other sports card investors, and other people looking to learn about sports cards know that this video is for each and every one of them too. Now, we are going to get right into it because I am enthusiastic and excited to share the Legends sports cards that I am currently buying. And this video came about because my video posted last Wednesday, I had a very thoughtful comment from Kevin Torres and he asked specifically, what are Legends and what Legends am I currently buying? So I'm going to answer three questions today and that is going to be what are sports card legends, what sports cards legends am I currently buying and what cards of those legends am I buying too? Because everybody has to know the difference between a young player that's maybe a little bit of a gamble and somebody that's more of a sturdy investment for the long term and that is exactly where legends come into the fold. Now to me, legends are established players that are either already in the Hall of Fame or essentially their career is established enough that when it ends, they will be a surefire Hall of Famer. That is how I define a sports legend and I'm going to share some of the people that fit the mold. But before we go into the ones that I'm specifically buying. Think Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen, LeBron James, Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Wayne Gretzky, Sidney Crosby. These guys have careers that are already established and they're either in the Hall of Fame or they're damn sure going to get there when their career is all said and done. So to me, these guys are not players trying to make a legacy. They already have established their legacies and that is what makes them legendary. Or wait for it, legend dairy. Now, who are some of the legends I am currently investing in? We're gonna go through basketball. We're going to go through baseball, we're going to go through football, and we're going to go through soccer. That's right, we're going to cover the four major sports, and I'm going to share some of the legends that I am currently putting my money into right now, starting with basketball because that is my favorite sport, and starting with one of my most recent favorite card pickups as well because in the sport of basketball I am looking at legends that maybe people are underappreciating such as Dirk Nowitzki and Dwayne Wade and Hakeem Olajuwon and Larry Bird. Everybody's buying the Michael Jordan cards, everybody's into LeBron James, but those are players that have some unique opportunities lying ahead starting with Dirk Nowitzki because I currently purchased the 1998 Topps Chrome PSA 10 Dirk Nowitzki card. Now this card I purchased on April the 19th for $600. Why? Because he is a first ballot, this cannot be argued, he is a first ballot Hall of Famer in 2023 so his time is coming and his cards were a little bit undervalued because as of today's recording which is may the 15th we currently have a pwcc auction with six days left and 708 dollars is the highest bid so that card has already increased by over a hundred dollars it has a very low 
PSA 10 population, a very low graded population as a whole. He is a legend. He is a league MVP, finals MVP, and a finals champion, and he will be a first ballot Hall of Famer, but that's not all. Currently, the COMC's website and on eBay, they're listing this as well, they have the same card listed for $1,953. So it's going to be very interesting to see what exactly this card sells for because I bought it about a month ago and it has done nothing more than skyrocket. Now going right into another basketball player that I'm currently purchasing is Dwayne Wade because he is also going to be in that 2023 Hall of Fame class. He's a shoe in for a first ballot Hall of Famer. This cannot be argued if Dwayne Wade is not a first ballot Hall of Famer, I'm pretty sure I would tear the rafters down. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no, no, no! Because he has had a storied career starting with his days in Miami and finishing his days in Miami as well. We're just not going to talk about the year or two that he went and played with Cleveland and Chicago. We'll disregard those years because if you are from the South Florida area, you know that Dade County is... Wade County. Now, Dwayne Wade has a lot of cards out there. The 2003 Topps Chrome is his rookie card. That's one I'm currently looking to get my hands on as soon as possible. And he also has some unique opportunities in first appearances in a set. Now, if you know anything about sports card collecting, you know that Prism, made by Panini, is the hottest set currently on the card market, and it's generally considered a new player's base rookie card. And Select is another set made by Panini that is kind of really gaining some traction and a lot of popularity. So I am currently looking at Dwayne Wade's 2012 Prism cards, because that is his first Prism, and it's the first year of the Prism set in basketball, and I am looking at his first Select cards as well. So those are some cards that I think have a lot of room to grow because people are starting to chase the iconic sets as well as rookie cards, but iconic sets are starting to finally increase, especially if it is their first appearance in that set. So the 2012 Dwayne Wade Panini Prism card is something that I'm looking at. I think you should be too, because Dwayne Wade is only going to go up from here as he gets closer and closer to the final moments and induction into the Hall of Fame. Now other basketball players I'm currently looking at are Hakeem Olajuwon because Adam Silver has stated that Africa is likely the NBA's next biggest growth market and Hakeem Olajuwon is an established legend. He's in the Hall of Fame and he's Africa's greatest basketball player ever. So I think a lot of African businessmen and a lot of African collectors will really want to get their hands on Hakeem Olajuwon. And the specific card I'm looking at when it comes to Hakeem Olajuwon is the 93 Finest because that is his first Chrome card. And Chrome is really what a lot of people are chasing. So it's not necessarily his rookie card, but it is his first Chrome card, the 93 Finest. And I'm also looking at Larry Bird inside that set as well. Full disclosure, I own both of their cards from the 93 Finest set, and I think it is a great opportunity to be a little bit ahead of the curve on this one, because obviously you can buy their rookie cards, but they can be a little bit pricey. But on the other hand, their first Chrome cards right now can be picked up for a very affordable price, especially in raw condition. So those are cards I am looking at and legends I'm looking at in the sport of basketball. Now, rolling into football, football is not my favorite sport by trade, but it is something I do collect because right now I am looking at Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning has a lot of records in the records book and he is arguably considered 
a top five, that's right, top five quarterback of all time. Now, I'm not looking at his rookie cards because if you've seen my recent video on Peyton Manning, you know that his top five most valuable sports cards are a little bit pricey and they're all from his rookie year. So I am looking at his 2012 Prism card, as you can see right here. And I'm looking at his 2013 Select card, as you can see right here. Because these are iconic sets and it's Peyton Manning's first time in those sets. So if you can get the 2012 Prism card, that is his first Prism, as well as the fact that it is his first year in a Denver Broncos uniform. And the 2013 Select is his first Select card. So as Prism becomes a little harder to obtain and the prices continue to skyrocket, I think the next set will be Select. All right, now rolling right into baseball, I'm currently not a owner of any of these cards specifically, but I would be looking at Ken Griffey Jr. because he was really the Michael Jordan of the diamond and he is established legend and his cards can really go nowhere but up or hold steady because Ken Griffey will always be in style. But specifically, if I was looking at his cards, I would be looking at the 2012 Prisms because again, they're a lot more affordable than his rookie cards and that is his first Prism. And everybody loves Prism right now, especially if it is the first card that a player has ever appeared in Prism. So the 2012 Panini Prism is a card that I would be looking at right now when it comes to Ken Griffey Jr. And then I am currently a purchaser of a lot of different Derek Jeter cards because Derek Jeter was just inducted into the Hall of Fame. He is a longtime New York Yankee, go figure, a massive market, and he is an established legend and a beloved sports figure. Currently, I am looking at the 95 finest Derek Jeter cards, which is from his rookie year, and I'm looking at 2012 select and I'm looking at 2012 prism and 2013 select. I am an owner of all three of these cards. As you can see, I am a big believer of these cards because one, the prism is his first prism. The select is his first select and the 95 finest is a chrome card with a unique peel cover. It is the first card set that came with a peel protective to cover the surface of the card and it is a great looking card so those are just some Derek Jeter cards I'm looking at but as you can see all the players I've mentioned so far happen to be established legends so stick within legends and you have a much greater chance of getting a good return on your investment because legends never die now going into the final sport I'm going to cover, not a lot of people talk about it, but I think it is a great sport to be investing in, is soccer. Because soccer is globally the biggest sport in the world, and soccer players tend to have the largest social media followings in the world, making them global icons, and they're usually some of the highest paid athletes in the world, if not the highest paid athletes. And the players I'm currently looking at are pretty straightforward. That would be your Cristiano Ronaldo and your Lionel Messi, two of the greatest players of all time, the greatest players of the last decade, and cultural icons with followings on social media that are astronomical. I believe Cristiano Ronaldo currently has the most followers on Instagram and Lionel Messi not too far behind even though he's far behind but he still has an astronomical number on Instagram so these are two legends they're established they have been around for a long time they're broadly popular to the masses and they are going to consistently see their card prices rise as more soccer fans get into sports card collecting and as more attention comes to their cards. Now there's two specific sets that I am looking for 
when it comes to these players' cards because there's a lot of cards out there that you could be purchasing when it comes to the two of them, and a lot of them could be pretty pricey. But right now, the 2014 World Cup Prism is their first Prism cards, and I personally love this set. First Prism is always going to be a great opportunity to buy something and potentially make a little bit or a lot of money on it down the road and 2015 select because that is their first select cards as well. Full disclosure, I own 2014 Panini Prism World Cup cards for both of those players and 2015 select cards for both of them as well. So those are the legends that I'm currently looking at in the soccer realm. I hope you guys learned something from this video, such as what is really a legend? As we talked about, they have established their careers and they're gonna be shoe-ins to the Hall of Fame, or they already are in the Hall of Fame. That's really what makes a legendary career. And I hope you enjoyed some of the insights on the specific legends I'm looking at. If you can find legends that maybe aren't getting enough love right now, usually it trickles down. So when Michael Jordan's cards go up, usually other players will follow. So I would suggest spotting legends that maybe are a little bit undervalued, such as how I spied Dirk Nowitzki a month ago. And it's going to be very interesting to see what his card price officially closes at for the 1998 Topps Chrome. And also, I would highly suggest getting the first cards of a player in an iconic set. So I hope you learned something about who I'm investing in, what a legend is, and what sets I am currently looking at in the sports card world. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below because as I said at the beginning of this video, it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Let's other sports card collectors, other sports card investors, and people that are looking to learn more about sports cards know that this video is for each and every one of them too. I have a giveaway going up, I believe, in a day or so on Instagram. So... Follow me over there on Instagram as well. You don't want to miss out this upcoming giveaway. And then share this with your friends. Comment below. I love engaging with each and every one of you. Let me know in the comments section what you want to see in future videos. I am going to be doing a video upcoming with all of my recent purchases and sharing them with you as well as other videos on different players and unboxing. So I hope you guys stay tuned. I appreciate each and every one of you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay blessed, and until next time my friends, peace!